next we will see branch and exchange instructions so this instructions is only executed if the condition is true so already we have seen in the last uh, lecture uh, in uh, data uh, in in exceptions in data exceptions it will it it, it will have only condition is true so this instruction performs a branch by copying the contents of a general register rn address specified by rn so this instruction performed will only have this rn so what is this rn this is a register this is an operand register so if bit 0 of rn equals to 1 so if this bit 0 is of rn equals to 1 so uh, first totally it, it, it is of 32 bit in this 32 bit first four four bits will be rn and last four bits will be condition field so this will call as condition field this will call as operand register this is that is rn so this completely will have four bit four bit dividing of four bit four bit code so if operand code if bits if bit zero that means this one if bit zero of rn equals to one subsequent instructions decoded as thumb instructions so this subsequent instructions will call as thumb instructions so in in if if bit 0 of rn equals to 0 so if this is 0 subsequent instructions decoded as arm instructions so if rn equals to 1 it will be of thumb instructions if rn equals to 0 it is of arm instructions so this branch and inst uh, exchange these instructions also permit the instruction set to be exchanged when the instruction is executed so what it will do this branch instruction will also exchange the set of the instruction when the instruction is executed the value of rn0 determines whether the instruction stream will be decoded as arm or thumb instruction so already we have discussed here see here for rn bit number 0 to 3 totally we have 4 bits so this is operand register so if bit 0 of rn equals to 1 this will be thumb instructions if bit 0 of rn equals to 0 it will be arm instructions so this is of branch and exchange instructions next one load store instructions so load and store and bins how we will load and how we will store the instruction so arm uses a load store model for memory access which means that only load store will call it as ldr and str instructions can assess memory so it, it will assess the memory while on 8086 most instructions are allowed to directly operate on data in memory so in, in 8086 microprocessor what it will have instructions it will be directly operate on data memory so whereas in arm data on arm data an arm data must be moved from memory into register before being operated on so so in 8086 directly data will be moved to memory whereas in this arm the data will be moved from memory to register before being operated on so it will be operating on then the memory will be moved to the register so this means that increment a 32 bit value at a particular memory address on arm would require three types of instructions load increment and store so we have three types of inst instructions to have increment a particular bit of value that is load increment and store so to first load the value at a particular address into a register increment it within the register and store it back to the memory from the register so first we have to load the instruction next increment and next we have to store the particular address of the data so next software interrupt instructions the software interrupt instructions we will call it as SWI is used to enter supervisor mode usually to request a particular supervisor function the SWI handler reads the opcode to extract the SWI function number so the software interrupt instructions it is, it is used to read or extract the opcode which is which will be used in the prog programming memory so this is of software interrupt instructions so we will call this as swi